and one. Let's wake him up. That sounds like fun. Okay, are you ready? Uh-huh. <laughs> What's going on? You guys woke me up in the middle of a really good dream. Oh, really? What was it? What was it? Yeah, what was it? <laughs> I was a crown prince, and I was on a mission to find myself a belly button. A what? I don't even know what a oh. belly button is, do you? Oh. Karopi explained to Ruby and Dan Dan that frogs didn't have belly buttons either, but that his dad had seen them on some of his other patients. As a matter of fact, I treated a little bear named Pokepon who had one just the other day. <laughs> oh, I remember now. He's the bear in the next village who plays drums on his stomach. Maybe I could go over and meet him and look at his belly button. <laughs> oh boy, I hope Mom didn't hear that. I'll go ask Mom to pack me a lunch and then I'll head over to Pokemon's village. Whoa, whoa, a belly button. Thanks for letting us come along, Karopi. Sure, it's always more fun to travel with friends. Karopi and his friends had gotten directions to the village where Pokemon lived. And soon they were walking happily through the beautiful countryside. ate the delicious lunch Karopi's mom had made on an old tree stump. And when it started to rain, they just kept right on going. Soon they were at the village. This must be Pokemon's village! We found it! Yay! Yay! A few moments later... As soon as Karopi had dried off, the cloud people had gone back to the village with him to return Pokemon's belly button. They had been just in time for the drumming contest, and Pokemon won first place. But Karopi was the real hero, and Pokemon gave him the ribbon that he had won as a sign of appreciation for saving.